Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Joy Chikanowski is who we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. And thanks to John Elving for sharing this clip with us. If you aren't familiar with Joy, she's the co-leader of Real Living Ministries with her husband, Perry. It would seem that it's a newer church, being that the YouTube page only has 43 subscribers, but maybe that's just the YouTube page that's new. If we go back to her site, we see that their start was when a group of them were called by the Holy Spirit to enter into an Abrahamic covenant with God and each other. I'm pretty sure that the Abrahamic covenant was between God and Abraham and was fulfilled in Jesus, so that does seem a bit strange. If we go back to the top and click on what we believe, we'll get a better idea of what they're about. We'll see that they're more than a church, they're an apostolic center. Oh boy. They also believe in the fivefold ministry that those in the New Apostolic Reformation follow. And they believe in Dominion Theology and the Seven Mountain Mandate, which says that they have to take over the seven biggest spheres of influence for God before Jesus can return. She's even got an area on her page called Joy Rides with God. Hmm. And on their mission page, we see the usual NAR buzzwords like cultivating a prophetic environment and activating spiritual gifts. And as always, this is not judging their salvation, it's looking at false teachings, which brings us to this next short video. Shifting that narrative. Now, I want to tell you, just this morning, I had a crazy experience. I went to my office this morning, coming through, thinking about today, you know, what I needed to do while I was there. And I come through the office, and I came to my office and I see standing in the corner of my office a demon. But I knew it was sent there by God. Like there was a piece about it. Okay, this is weird. I never had a demon come to me from God. So I'm like, all right, Lord, what is this? Why is he here? And the Lord said, I have assigned a double agent to rule in it. pretty darn cool that God has double agents with the demons. Demons that fell and they must have decided they wanted to work for God or maybe God convinced them they needed to work for him. One way or another, God has a demon that is a double agent for him. And he's being sent into the darkness to destroy the works of the enemy and all of his strategies against every single one of us before they can even get past the war room. Come on! Yeah. Come on! <laughs> that needs to get you a little excited. Yeah. Folks, some people and their stories don't even need explaining. If this lady didn't completely make up this story, then what she saw was definitely not a double agent fallen angel working against his master, Satan. Yet, instead of people getting up and leaving, they cheer and applaud her. Just one more sign of the times we're in. We'll keep it short here today, but feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.